Hello everyone, in this short tutorial I'm going to explain how to use split application binary properly while using Vuforia plugin. Well, the issue arises when you do the splitting of the app, but after the splitting the uh, Vuforia tracking doesn't work anymore. So I will explain how to overcome this problem and provide you with a script and I hope it will uh, help you out in the future while building uh, well, a bigger sized apps. So why would you need split application binary? I will try to explain right now. So let's say you're having an augmented reality app in which you hold a variety of different content like over here we have a motor we have some conveyors and well you build your app in such manner that you don't download anything from the server and you hold everything within the app itself and if you uh, want to have some quality content of course once you export the app the size of it might be too big uh, for the google play uh, for the google play to publish the app uh, so uh, to handle this uh, split bin split application binary is used uh, but uh, well let's say uh, this is the scene in which uh, we have Vuforia uh, tracking and all the content, right? And if we export the app, we have uh, over 200 megabytes in size, in size, and to publish it for in Google Play, it is too big. As you can see, you need to reduce your APK file size to 100 megabyte or use APK expansion file. So basically, this, this is what, why you need to use split application binary. And it is available from player settings over here. You go to publish settings and you only need to, to check this box over here, split application binary. And after you build the app, you will have two files uh, like that the main file and the obb file which basically holds all the content but for this to work properly uh, you need an additional steam let's say this is an augmented reality all augmented reality scenarios but you need to create an initial scenario let's say in which you hold some maybe loading bars some logo etc but in this initial screen you need to attach one single script which is called android split load first scene and well, let's open it and don't forget to make some modifications based on your own app for instance, first thing you should note is how do you name your scenes, right? Great, it is loaded. For instance, um, the initial screen, this one, is named Start Scene. But the scene that contains Vuforia tracking uh, and all the content is called main scene mobile publish therefore i entered it here and the next thing is uh, what you need to have is also the same naming from the streaming assets for your folder uh, place which is xml and dat files you need to enter it accordingly over here. I assume it will only probably change uh, this name, these three letters, if you named your database differently. So, um, 
don't forget to name it to if it's uh, if those two files are outside the Foforia uh, folder uh, try deleting this part too okay so keep in mind uh, these things and basically what this script does uh, that if we don't have this script Foforia tracking doesn't work because some tracking uh, tracking information is lost while loading the scenes but uh, if we attach the script all the tracking information is properly related and Vuforia image tracking starts to work properly basically I think this is the simple the simplest way to explain how does it work right and also to use split binary keep in mind that you need to have at least two scenes one scene that basically has um, minimalistic user interface and when you do the split binary you generate file which is less than 18 megabytes basically this scene is in this file and it's already a proper file to upload it in Google Google uh, Play and after you upload this file you can additionally attach OBB expansion file that file that uh, they write over here APK expansion file and as you can see this OBB expansion file is nearly 200 megabytes and this file holds all my 3D content uh, that I have in this app so I will attach this script uh, and I hope it will be useful for you in the future so see you next time don't forget to share it and like it with your friends bye